Hello mate and welcome to another exciting video. This one's a slightly different format as you can see. I'm no longer wearing my smart jacket because it is boiling. So uh, it is what it is. So I wanted to talk today about the reasons why I think people are selling themselves short if they don't use post-production on their renders. So before I get into that, I'm going to go into a little bit of back history about where the kind of purest movement um, is in terms of photography because I feel like there's a parallel between the two. So in photography there are a number of people, a small number but still a number of people who when they go out and take photographs of either a landscape or a model or whatever they try to get everything absolutely perfect in camera and that is pretty much what all photographers strive to achieve however the challenge for this specific group of people is that that is where the production of the image stops if they don't get it right in camera then they consider that project to have been a failure and they might never necessarily show anybody the images so for them the sport if you like is to get it absolutely all perfect in camera and there are various different subsets of that group of people there are a number of people who will only shoot film because you only get one attempt per shot whereas in digital you can just keep shooting over and over again so the purism movement gets even more extreme at some ends you know there's some people who still use wet plate um it's it's you know it's a vast kind of subsets of um, of people the majority of people however will take the photographs trying to get everything as good in camera as they possibly can but then they will move on to photoshop or lightroom or some other version of image editing software which will enable them to make their good image better because they're using all the digital tools to their advantage and i am in the in amongst the, that group of people but i've never really referred to myself officially as a photographer i tend to call myself more of a digital artist because there are some occasions where the degree of post-production that I do on a photograph is required to be significantly higher than that which I would consider to just be a photographer because sometimes the images just don't come together and I'm not the kind of person, I don't have the means to just keep hiring models and keep shooting and keep trying to get it perfect. So if I hire a model for a day or for half a day even you know it's not a cheap thing for a model for a full day is over 200 pounds these days which means i want to get something for my money and i don't mean that in a rude way i mean i want to get at the very least one or two decent images from that shoot and if things just don't come together then i'm going to have to do a lot of editing of my images so that's why i would prefer to refer to myself as a digital artist rather than a photographer However, the skills are interchangeable, you know. I can use a camera well, um, but I also know how to do photo shopping. So, happy days. So, in that field, it makes absolute sense that there are some people who want to not use any post-production because for them it's kind of a sport. When it comes to using Dash Studio though, there's no such thing you already have full control over everything in the image you aren't going to see stray hairs you aren't going to see random bugs flying through the shot you're not going to catch any blink shots unless you're really bad at dust studio so it's not the sport of trying to capture the perfect image in the split second that it takes to take a photograph anymore because it's going to take you quite a while to set up your shot and then it's going to take potentially four or five or six hours to actually complete the render so there is none of this mental gymnastics that photography purists use to justify not photoshopping the image in fact the majority of the time the rationale I hear people giving for not photoshopping their renders just boils down to either unwilling to learn a new skill or just being lazy trying to rush the images out because they've got a schedule to keep again there's just no rationale behind that if it takes you four hours to complete a render an extra 15 minutes in photoshop is a very insignificant addition to that time when 
particularly when if you want to add certain effects like god rays or uh, lens flares and things like that or dust and debris they are much easier to put in in post-production than they are within the render because a it's going to significantly slow down the render because of the light scattering effect of god rays and lens flares um, when you can do them in photoshop in a matter of seconds um, so it's much more labor intensive as well to not do the post-production so look at it like this isn't here's the analogy it's to not use photoshop is to not use all the tools at your disposal think of it as knocking jake paul out with one hand I actually no that'd be easy so let's think of another one it would be like trying to cook an omelet with only one hand beating the eggs and holding the bowl at the same time is going to be nigh and impossible and if you do master it it's going to be a major faff and your end results may not necessarily be as good as if you just use both hands dash studio is a useful tool for creating renders um, Photoshop is a useful tool for cleaning up your renders and just adding any finishing touches, any polish that you want to add. So to not use Photoshop in tandem with Dash Studio, your renders are only going to be as half as good as they could be at any given time. And I appreciate that there are a number of people out there who genuinely do want to try and get everything perfect in Dash to see if they can do it. And I'm not judging those people at all. If that's how you roll then that's how you roll you know it's up to you i'm not here to tell you what to do i'm only here to give advice but if you're trying to create a product that you want people to pay for then it stands to reason that realistically you actually need to make sure that you are doing absolutely everything in your power to make sure that that product is as good as it can be because consumers are not stupid they know even adult visual novel consumers can see when the creator of the content that they might be paying for is half-assing it. So do yourself a favor, don't half-ass it, put in the extra effort, learn the skills. Photoshop is so easy to learn. It's not expensive and there are free alternatives that are similar, not quite as good, but similar to Photoshop. So it makes absolute sense to do it if you possibly can. Stay awesome, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks ever so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm sure I've triggered one or two people with the things I've said today, so I look forward to um, ignoring your arguments. <laughs> see you soon. Bye-bye.